Hi and welcome to One Alliance Users Guides and Tutorials. Today we'll be looking at buffering issues. If you have a reasonable device and internet speed, you may not experience any buffering whatsoever. For those that do, and in particular the older and low-end devices, there are things that we can do to reduce or eliminate the buffering. One Alliance builds are designed for you to get the best experience out of Kodi possible. We can actually set up our system devices to its potential to help with that. First thing we need to do is check that we've got the latest build, if not, update it. Do a speed test on the build, make sure there's a reasonable internet speed, Ethernet over Wi-Fi where possible, and another one we're going to look at today is the add-on Easy Advanced Settings. We we'll make changes to the network settings in that to improve experience. So we just need to go along to Add-ons. That was with a picture of the cogs is the Easy Advanced Settings. We click on that. We're going to do some editing, so we just click on Edit Settings. And we're looking for network settings we're making changes on, so it's network settings and then go into Network Advanced. The only thing we'll be looking at is the bottom three that we're making changes to. That one there, cache mem buffer size, which is not easy to say. You click on that. And when it says disabled, just delete it. And here we're going to put a number in, which is 419, 430, 400. Once you've typed that, click Done. As you see, that's gone to green. Next one we're looking at is buffer mode. Click on the buffer mode and we're choosing option one. And the third and final one, read buffer factor. We're clicking on that. Once again, we're deleting disabled. And actually we're typing here 4.0. And when you type that, click on. And those three altered. What we need to do is go back, but not go back too far. So we need to save those settings. So we click the back button three times. That's the first one, second, and third. And where it says right XML file, we click on that, and that's it saved. After completing that, hopefully that resolves any buffering issues. If you're still receiving issues with buffering, with the low-end devices, there are one or two things you can do to make changes, but there's only two that we're looking at, and you'd only do them one at a time, and check to see if it's been resolved or not. You need to go along to System, click on that, go on to the player, click on that, video, make sure it's highlighted, come across to the right, scroll down, and where it says Enable HQ Scalers for scaling above 20%, you're not going to get any benefits and you won't do any improvements. You'd be better off dropping that down to 0%. And obviously you go back out and you check and make sure the buffering's been resolved. If it's not, there's one final thing you can do and this is come back in again where it says allow hardware acceleration. Just untick that. And hopefully that resolves the issues. And thanks very much for watching. Bye.